So in this video, I wanted to talk about the best cartridge to use with some Chinese fountain pen brands. Basically what happens is a lot of these Chinese fountain pens, like the ones from Wing Sung and Hero and a few others, include a converter. So people don't really talk about which cartridges they should use with these pens, but sometimes you want to use a cartridge uh, for whatever reason, and it becomes kind of challenging to figure out the right cartridge to use with a pen like this one. In this case, this is a Wingsung 3010. It includes this converter. It does not include any cartridges. So, you know, you might just think, well, the cartridge is a non-issue because I have a converter. A converter could be filled. It acts like a cartridge. Uh, so you don't need ever to worry about the cartridges. But in case you're curious for practical or, or honestly just for academic purposes, you might be wondering, what cartridge do I use with this fountain pen? If we look at the included converter, we could see it has a very wide aperture here, this hole, this sometimes they call it a bore. It's quite wide. Generally, it seems to be about 3.4 millimeters. Online, if you do some research, they call it a big bore or 3.4 millimeter bore cartridge or converter. The inner diameter here matches the outer diameter here, and you have a nice tight fit that doesn't leak and that has to be matched in the cartridges. A lot of people just assume that if they don't know the cartridge brand or the cartridge type that goes with the pen and that company, in this case Wingsung, doesn't sell a cartridge, then you use a standard international cartridge. That's not the case. I think this one has a, this standard international from Schneider has about a 2.8 millimeter or so, maybe it's 2.4, something like that. Inner diameter here, much too small for the Wingsung. So what does that mean? Basically what happens is you can find these. These are 3.4 millimeter cartridges. They're called, again, 3.4 millimeter or big bore cartridges. In this case, they're sold by a company called Hong Dian. This is uh, something you could find on Amazon and a few other places. I guess the company's not Hong Dian. Now there you go, there's the company name. But really, if you wanted to find it, you would just look for a 3.4 millimeter cartridge available on Amazon, Etsy, eBay, what have you. They're quite affordable. And you could see it is definitely not a standard international cartridge. It looks a lot like it, but it's a good deal larger. The shape is the same. And then you could see, I'll keep it on the left here. The bore, the inner diameter is considerably larger than on this standard international. In fact, this whole thing will fit quite nicely inside the, like, you know, the outer diameter of the Standard International will fit on the inside of the big bore. This is something I bought aftermarket. It didn't come with the pen. I think I got uh, a multicolor set. So blue, black, red, purple, green. I think there were six colors, maybe five colors. And it was like maybe six or seven dollars for uh, these have what? I think four in them each. Yeah. No, five in them each. So there you go. Five pieces. And yeah, so it's a, a really nice fit. You'll you pull this thing off, pop it in, and this is all clear. So we should see it doing its job quite quickly. That's a, that's a tough one. Let's try it again. Okay. So we'll give this one a second. Actually, let's see how it goes. Yeah, so it's writing now. So this is the, if I was searching for this, I would search for Hong Dian. Hong Dian, 3.4 millimeter. Clearly, this is the blue, and it works in this Wing Sung. It would work in any number of other Chinese fountain pens. Okay, so what if you don't want to buy something aftermarket? You cannot use a standard international cartridge. Those are off the table. I've done some experimenting. What can you use that you might have? These are also Wing Sungs. These are quite affordable. So I have a bunch of them. This is a Parker cartridge. So Parker Quink fountain pen cartridges like this. Super long, very narrow. They have a bore that is not quite 3.4 millimeters. I think it's 3.2 or 3.3. It's right in that same range. 
and it will work quite nicely in your Wingsung pens as well as a number of other Chinese fountain pen manufacturers. I can't say I have an exhaustive list, but so it's not like I've put it in there and it's going to crack right after this video is over. It's been in there for two weeks and it won't have a stress fracture or anything like that, that I can tell. So here you can see a dark blue Parker ink. It is a good deal darker than that Hongdian ink we were using a minute ago. So if you want to use a more popular cartridge type in your Wingsung or Hero or a few other fountain pen brands, then Parker will work. At least you could see it here active and you could see down there, no cracks, no leaks, nice and clean. So I would recommend using Parker Quink cartridges if you are looking for an alternative. So again, here we have the Hong Dian. Here we have the Parker. And I've also been using this. This is a Lamy cartridge, which is similar in size to Parker. Not exactly, but quite close. This one isn't perfect. You could see the Lamy right here cracked. So basically the Lamy is a little bit too small and over time, this bottom area, which is a stiffer plastic than some of the other parts, it will crack. So is it leaking? No. You could see a couple little drops here and it may not leak immediately or may not crack immediately, but it will crack over time. So the Lamy, this plastic part, while it will fit on here and the pen will start to write and you'll think you'll have a good fit, it will definitely crack. I'm not saying that's going to leak, but the fact that it's cracked right here, you can see it right there, is not a good sign for me. This thing feels like it's on there quite well. And that crack may not matter so much if the pipe thing is kind of into this area enough, but I really don't feel like it is. So I don't trust this. So while it may seem like Lamy cartridges are a good fit, for your uh, Wingsung and other Chinese fountain pen brands, I would not recommend them, even though they will work in a pinch. If you're in an emergency, you could definitely use a Lamy cartridge, but not a an ideal for uh, you know use for weeks or months or whatever. Another option you could use is this brand. Uh, this is a Monami, uh, which is a Korean brand, but they have a pen type called the Olica. This is a kind of a budget fountain pen. Uh, I never actually really liked this one. I thought it'd be pretty good. And uh, you could see I haven't really used it. They use a 3.4 millimeter big bore cartridge. So if you can somehow find Olica cartridges, then that will work. And we could see it is basically an exact match for that Hongdian or that Chinese big bore cartridges. Even though it's not a Chinese brand, they seem to have adapted these cartridges. So you could certainly go ahead and buy the Monami fountain pen and refill that cartridge, or you could just look for their cartridges. It seems to be an exact match. And uh, I think that largely covers it. It's been a kind of curious case. Again, most of these pens include a converter, so people aren't going ahead and searching down cartridge solutions. But if you are curious, again, even if it's just for academic purposes, there are some options available. Largely, you want to get that Hong Dian, but anything big bore will usually be the right cartridge type for a Chinese fountain pen. Thanks for watching.